Hello friends, hope you all are doing good and in this video we are going to discuss uh, one of the most common problems of automation and manual engineers is the coding fear and this is this is for real. So if I cut you short and uh, if I tell, tell you the moral of this story, it's like practice. Everyone will tell you to practice but if it has been so easy then why aren't you able to do it and I, w I also struggled with the same and I was like the thing is that once you have the fear of something you will try to avoid it that's for sure okay so you will only do coding that is required for your automation project or maybe your work required otherwise outside of it you will not practice it okay and one of the important aspect of uh, this coding is that nowadays in every interview either they have the initial coding round or while in the technical rounds also so if it is a technical round like you can expect one to two coding questions right you all will agree with me on this part so how to like practice and how to overcome this fear the first thing is that you have to pick a programming language uh, that is like either you have studied in your graduation or you find it pretty easy so in my case i started with java and uh, i'll also suggest you to go with java or let's say python because the community support of both these languages are good and it's very easy to learn the basic syntax and uh, like i'll i'll cover it here that start with basic so let's say you have learned java so for loop and while loop and every like logic will remain the same okay and no matter how much uh, tough the question is the logic will remain same so that's why like you have to always focus on the syntax and with the basics like start with the basic first and once you have uh, gone through the basic syntax and everything then well, i'll suggest you to like not directly jump into the um, like tough questions it's better to start with easy problems okay let's say uh, if I if I recall an example of let's say reverse this string okay this is ABC and you have to print CBA okay this is pretty much easy so once you start uh, doing all the easy things then you will gain some confidence and after it like you can jump to more complex and one more thing is that like people uh, students they just uh, practice easy and easy so if you don't challenge it regularly then you are not going to build that muscle like uh, learning coding is uh, like building muscles so until and unless you endure that pain you will not able to learn or grow for that matter okay so the first like uh, in the first week you have done let's say 10 easy problems then in the second week what you can do is that with let's say five easy problems try to solve two medium problems okay and in the third week just try to balance it out like 5 plus 5 and once you once you are pretty confident in these um, uh, like medium and uh, medium toughness problem then try to move it uh, towards the hard problem okay and i think as a qa you'll uh, like you're not expected to be uh, doing hard i mean the lead code hard problems that's what i meant to uh, answer with easy like if you solve the lead code then uh, there are three kind of problem easy like medium and average and tough so like till here it is pretty much uh, okay for you so the thing is that uh, once you start learning coding then you have to maintain your programs you don't want to lose out your pro programs so that way like just keep on pushing it will also like tomorrow so it, it has dual benefit so tomorrow if you showcase uh, your github profile to your uh, interviewer then uh, he or she can check your github that you are regularly practicing okay regular practice like uh, lead code has this uh, kind of thing in which uh, the green green stuff like every day you practice they will put more green and the dark green stuff you know what i mean right so that that shows that you have practiced some problem and you have a git a great github profile the same goes with lead code so let's say if you have if you have practiced let's say 50 problems okay and before before jumping into the lead code easy just like start with here and then 
the very basic stuff and after that like uh, i start doing this stuff and uh, i have a list of pro problems uh, the easy lead code problems in uh, strings and array which maybe in the upcoming future i'll try to discuss uh, and like give the solutions for the same so this is the thing like after doing this thing for regularly 2 to 3 months i think like you are good to go for the coding part now what not to do so there are like mistakes which i seen like don't be in a hurry okay i have seen guys practicing uh, like they 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 have to give interview next week and they start uh, cramming the second thing is like don't remember thing so if you if you have a logic just see a pattern that on what pattern this so once you start solving problems you will notice that like most of the pro problems are uh, easily can be solved with hash maps okay so rather than um, remembering the solution try to remember the pattern that will surely going to help you in the interview okay and let's say you have uh, like practiced one kind of problem and in the interview you don't find it so if you know the pattern then at least you can tweak your solution or maybe think it out loud and it give uh, interviewer a confidence that okay this guy knows something or although he is not able to derive the solution but still like he knows something okay so we all know that like zero is better than like 0 0.5 is better than zero okay although if you are not if you haven't reached till one but still like this is this is the good part okay so these are the things uh, which i think you should uh, you should not do and the fourth thing is that uh, don't like compare yourself with others because the thing is that you don't know what the other guy what's the background of the other guy maybe he was a developer before and he has start he has just moved to qa then his or her pace will be obviously like different from yours so like just uh, rather than like it's you versus yourself right what you were yesterday you have to compete with that that and not with anyone else and if you keep on doing the same thing for 2 to 3 months then i'm sure like you will be in a position to at least give and crack uh, like coding interviews of the qa okay so that's it guys uh, still if you have any problem then um, like comment down below and like in future i'm thinking of starting a series in which we can discuss the like common questions the common coding questions which uh, are asked in the interviews okay so thank you guys and thanks for watching